this control here is interesting, notes to slot, because what that does is that will route the current MIDI input to whichever slot you tell it. So if I wanted to play the first slot, uh, that's defaulted to slot one. Now these are all the same actually, so what I'm going to do is open a new loop just so you can see the change, otherwise they will sound virtually the same. Let's choose an instrument loop, a guitar. Okay, so with notes to slot set to slot one, my MIDI keyboard will play slot one. If I change it, it changes to play slot two. You can automate this as well. Um, that's really useful. For if you have a live performance, for example, you can automate this at certain points in the song to flip between slots so that your keyboard will play different sounds. If you want to put data from Dr. Octorex into the sequencer, that's easy to do. Um, you just set your left and right markers, choose the loop you want, and click copy loop to track. And then disable loop playback, otherwise it will play twice. If you wanted to send a different loop, select it. Uh, let's try the one that we changed. So that's how Dr. Octorex loops. It's a great way to um, to have lots of loops going without using up an awful lot of space in the sequencer.